Hey guys, Jeremy Chickowitz here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. It's lovely seeing all of your beautiful faces. This is all about my food adventures all over the world, but today, well, we're on a camera adventure because sometimes they talk about cameras here. Uh, here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually going to be reacting to some of the latest film photos that I took on my wonderful Canon AE-1. I shot it on some Portra 400 and I've done these videos before. Uh, it becomes more of just like a pleasure to me to go through these photos and I think that you guys seem to enjoy them. Um, I don't even really remember what these photos are. Sometimes it takes me a few months to go through the rolls and it's it's a mystery to me. So you will be seeing them as I will be seeing them. It took like a tiny, tiny, tiny quick peek. I didn't really look at them. So let's open them up and let's see what we got. I've been getting better. I've been getting better. My Texas Leica, I'm still struggles but on my canon a1 i'm confident that these are going to be pretty pretty good all right so first up this is uh by domino park there lots of construction got the little taco cena sign i like this i like this i really like the way that teal pops with the portra um all right i would give myself like a 0. 0.5 i don't know you guys let me know in the comments it's okay it's okay Ooh, okay. Uh, this is the building just on the street for me. Ah, this is beautiful. The blues look stunning. I like this one. That's cool. I it, like. I, I mean, I took this photo. It's so stupid. <laughs> I took this photo. It should be good. But this is what I like about like not having instantaneous like that. You know what I mean? Like when I normally take photos on my you know Canon R5, which I'm filming this on right now. Like, you know, I'm taking a thousand photos. I'm looking at them right now. And, like, I can pick exactly what I want on that film. Like. I'm never quite sure what I'm getting, you know? But that's the joy. This is a stop sign, or stop sign. This is a crosswalk here in Williamsburg. I went on a little walk. I, what I normally do to go through my rolls is just go on a walk, especially like in New York City during this pandemic. Uh, it's nice just to get out and have an excuse. So this one's a little out of focus, but I think like shooting on film when things aren't just perfect, they make it kind of magical. Uh, here I am at the Marcy stop in Williamsburg. Love shooting the subway. It's one of my favorite things. Even from when I was a little kid, I was obsessed with the subway. Mm. There's this, like, I guess it's like a Land Rover, like, old Land Rover repair shop in Williamsburg. And they have, like, the sickest, oldest Land Rovers ever just sitting out there. I love photographing them. Well, here's another one. So all these photos were scanned and developed and sent to me. I haven't touched them at all. So some of them might need a little bit of correcting, probably more so like warmth. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you'll see the way that they're corrected. That's at Jeremy Jacobo. It's J-E-R-E-M-Y-J-A-C-O-B-O-W-I-T-Z. Cheap plug. Uh, now we are in Union Square. <laughs> I really liked this one. Uh, they have these digital signs above the subway in New York City now about like telling people to make sure they have a mask on. And they're all like kind of like cartoony and funny. And so, like, you know, don't be that person. I thought that was cute. Mm, this is my failed attempt to be like a cool film photographer getting those car shots. Colors I like. I think I missed the angle a little bit. I missed it just a little bit, but this is a cool little Dodge. I don't know which one it is. Let me know if you guys know what it is. Let me know. Ooh, ooh, I like this one. Damn, all right. I think I nailed it on this one. That's cool. I'll probably, when I go to post it, crop this one and mess with it a little bit. Like, I want to get rid of that like Honda in the background there, but mm, it's like shooting some old cars on film, but it feels appropriate, right? Speaking of like old stuff, this was in East Village on like First Avenue. It's just like all these really old shops that still exist. And again, like it just sort of like felt perfect. Uh, Gringer, uh, refrigerators, washer, air conditioning. I mean, this must have been here. This has to be here for, you know, over 50 years. Like I think like picking the film lets you like set that tone. I don't know if like this tone of like a cold New York City winter is exactly what Portra represents the best, but I think Portra just always kind of kind of looks cool. 
sometimes though I feel like, you know, portrait you're always trying to overexpose. Like all these I try to overexpose by like two stops. Um, so you really want that bright sun, which like doesn't really, it gets sunny here in the winter, but it still always, the, the mood is cold. Oh, I mean, Russ and Daughters. If we're talking old school New York City, we're talking Russ and Daughters, the best. Mm, get all like your smoked fish and stuff there. Oh yeah. I mean, this was a line, if you see like, they're not allowing people in the shop. Um, so people just line up on the street to order at the guy in front and then they, you know, get their fish and stuff. Very cool. And then literally next door, like two doors down, it's Katz's Deli. Another absolute institution in New York City. You have to go there. Whew, what you'd get. Hmm. I mean, if you're going to be there for the first time, go pastrami. Go corned beef, see what you see what you'd like. But you know, that that like smoked beef is what you want to get there. Oh yeah, get a pastrami. Some coastal on rye. The French fries are also fantastic. Do not go there and not get French fries. Matzball soup too. Oh, I love Katz's. It's expensive. And there's a line. I hate waiting. But if you're visiting New York, absolutely have to get there. Another shot of Katz's. Ah, I wish that car wasn't there. Damn. This one I could crop a little bit better, make something out of it. Here we go. Yeah, I like that one. Uh, this one might be my favorite of the cats is that I shot. That last one. Not even the last one. I want cats crazy there. <laughs> it's also like, I, I, I really like shooting right now in New York City because I feel like it's such a moment in time that we hopefully never have to go through again. So to have it documented like this, it's kind of like, you know, it means something to me. I was trying to shoot like the neon signs coming through these tiny little windows at Katz's. I don't know if I like this angle. I think I, did, I, think I tried a few more angles to try and get it. Yeah, this is just like through the grate of the window looking inside. Again, this one didn't work out so well, but that's okay. <laughs> I kept trying, apparently. <laughs> eh, it's okay. Mm. So this place is Suvlaki GR. I actually used to live right down the street from their Midtown location. This is my favorite Greek food in New York City. Greek food is for some reason hard. In Manhattan, at least. Queens, you can find some better stuff. Manhattan's hard. But Suvlaki GR, legit. I love the way they're set up here. Do you want a picnic? Uh, unfortunately, it looks like a place that closed. Um, was also one of my favorite places. Great Mexican food uh, upstairs. And if you go downstairs, like every different type of tequila you could ever imagine. It was a fun time. Hopefully, it could uh, reopen. More T1 picnic. Yeah, this is all now, because I was walking, starting from Music Grand, sort of walking back down. Um, this is all like Lower East Side now. I didn't mention that. Uh, and then I took the subway back over to Williamsburg Bridge. And this is again, uh, that same stop in Williamsburg, uh, the Marcy Avenue stop. Here comes the subway. All right. Maybe if I crop that one a little bit, I got something there, right? That could be cool. Again, I, I love shooting the subway. The J train. Mmm, yeah. I saw this BMW as I was walking home. I forgot about that. I was trying to get it. I think this one worked out really nicely. I think this one's going to be hard to crop for Instagram a little bit. I got a little too tight. I kind of have to remember that. But I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it trying to get better at shooting those car things um but that's it the entire role um you know sometimes i go through these and i have a little bit of more like memories that i really want to reflect on unfortunately you know because of what we're going through right now i don't do a lot so there's not a lot of like visceral memories in these things i'm kind of just like 
itching to take photos and going on walks and finding what I find as opposed to, you know, trying to capture real moments. Um, but like anything, one, I want to document and I want to document what's going on. And I love photography. I love taking photos and I want to learn. And the best way for me to learn is to just do it. Um, but yeah, I would love to know what you guys think I'm doing. Like, this is all the journey. If you go back and watch all my film photos, all my film photography videos, uh, this has all been a journey. Um, trying to get better and improve and improve and improve. And hopefully I am getting better. I don't know. Let me know. Um, yeah, I would love to know what you guys think. I'm going to mess around with some uh, other film stuff coming up. I bought um, an Ektachrome and an Ektar just to try different stuff. Um, so those videos are coming out. Subscribe. Stay tuned for those. Um, one of them at least is going to be a little bit more of a vloggy adventure rather than just me reacting like this. Um, but I got this roll in and just want to see it. And I'm happy. I don't know if there's anything like stellar, but I'm happy. Let me know what you think. Till then, I'll see you guys later.